Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. How are you today? Now, we will continue our lesson on Mathematics Year 4 KSSR Semakan 2017. For today, we will continue our lesson on topic Addition and Subtraction of Fractions. You can refer on page 80. 81 and 82 in your textbook. So now, let's start our topic on example number 1 on page 80. Let's lead the conversation for example number 1. These are parts of our chocolate bus. For the girl, have 9 over 10 and for the boy have 7 over 10 chocolate and then after after that 8 over 10 were eaten from the total chocolate of the boy and the girl 8 over 10 were eaten and then the question is what is the fraction of the chocolate bus left so when we write in mathem mathematics sentence will be 9 over 10 which refer to the girl plus 7 over 10 refer to the boy subtract 8 over 10 so you need to remember when you want to solve the question involving addition and subtraction you must solve it from left to right okay from left that mean you must do addition after that you do subtraction remember from left to right now i will explain to you by using the diagram here is 9 over 10 plus 7 over 10 for sure we will take one part here to fill in 9 over 10 to become 10 over 10 and then it will become like this we get 16 over 10 after that you need to subtract 8 over 10 from the fraction here where you need to remove or subtract 8 over 10 1 2 3 4 5 6, 7, 8 After you remove 8 over 10 You will get 8 over 10 And as you can see in the diagram here You can simplify 8 over 10 to the smaller fraction Where you need to divide by 2 and after you divide by 2, you will get 4 over 5. So that's how you find the answer by using diagram. Now let's move to question number 2. 2, 1 over 7 plus 5 over 7 subtract 2 equal unknown. By using diagram, it will look like this. 2, 1 over 7 is presented by the purple area where you can see there are 2 whole number and 1 over 7 here. So, 2, 1 over 7 plus while 5 over 7 is presented by the brown area. 5 over 7 and it will get 2, 6 over 7 where is the combination of the purple area and the brown area and then after that you need to subtract 2 from the fraction here where you simply by pull out 2 whole number from the fraction here 
So you can write 2 6 over 7 subtract 2 from the 2 whole number in the diagram. So you will get the remainder here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 over 7 parts. So the final answer is 6 over 7 by using diagram method. You can also use method 2 to solve this problem where you need to group the whole number with whole number and fraction with fraction. So it will be like this. Equal 2 subtract 2 plus 1 over 7 plus 5 over 7. Equal 2 subtract 2 equals 0. And 1 plus 5, you can directly add 1 with 5 because the denominators are the same. So, 1 plus 5 equals 6 over 7. And you get the same answer but with diagram method. The third question is 3 over 10 subtract 1 over 5 plus 1 over 2 equal unknown. Alright. So, as you can see here, we cannot directly subtract or add this fraction because the denominators are not the same. So, we need to find the smallest common denominator before we solve this problem. Beside of using times table to find the denominator, you can directly multiply 5 with 2 to find the denominator. 5 times 2 equal 10. So, we get all the denominators 10. So, if 5 want to become 10, you need to multiply by 2. Same with the numerator 1 times 2. 2 to become 10, you need to multiply by 5. So, 1 will be follow multiply by 5. So, we write again 3 over 10 subtract 1 times 2 equal 2 5 times 2 equal 10 plus 1 times 5 equal 5 2 times 5 equal 10. So, now the denominators all the same. So, we can proceed to our operation 3 Subtract 2 equal 1, 1 plus 5 equal 6. So you get the answer 6 over 10. But 6 over 10 is not in the simplest form. So how do you get the simplest form? Yes, you need to divide these two numbers with 2 because 6 and 10 are exist in times 2. So, 6 divided by 2, 10 divided by 2. So, you will get the final answer is 3 over 5, which is in the simplest form. Okay, example number 4, 9 subtract 2, 2 over 3 plus 1 over 4 equal unknown. Okay, now we try to solve this question by using method 1. Alright, as you can see in the question, the denominators are not the same. 9 cannot subtract 2, 2 over 3. So, we need to borrow 1 from 9. So, 9 will become 8. And 1, we convert it to fraction with denominator 3, we get 8, 3 over 3, subtract 2, 2 over 3, plus 1 over 4. And then, we solve this 2 fraction first. 3 subtract 2, equal 1 over 3. 8 subtract 2, equal 6. And then, 
plus 1 over 4. After that, we need to find the smallest common denominator here by list out the time table 3 and 4. And then we find the smallest common denominator here. 3, no, 6, not in time 4, 9, not in time 4, 12. Yes, we have 12 in time 3 and 12 in time 4. So, we need to change the denominator into 12. We need to 3 times 4 equal 12. 1 times 4. 4 times 3 equal 12. And the numerator will follow. So, 6. 1 times 4, 4 over 12. Plus 1 times 3 equal 3. 4 times 3 equal 12. Now, the denominators are the same, so we can do addition 4 plus 3 equals 7 over 12 and 6 here. So, we get the final answer 6, 7 over 12. You can also use method 2 to solve this fraction where you use the technique called cross multiplication method. Okay, like this. 9 here actually is 9 over 1. Subtract 2 over 3, we must convert it into improper fraction. 2 times 3 equals 6. 6 plus 2 equals 8. 8 over 3 plus 1 over 4. And then, we do the adjustment to make the denominators are uh, all the same. So, we can simply multiply 3 times 4. 3 times 4 here, you will get 12. So, 3 times 4 equal 12. It will follow time 4. Okay, 4, to get 12, you must multiply by 3. 4 times 3 equal 12. And 1 will follow multiply by 3. 1, to become 12, you must multiply by 12. 9 will follow 9 times 12. So, you read, you write again the new fraction 9 times 12 equal 108 over 12. Subtract 8 times 4, 32 over 12. Plus... 1 times 3, 3 over 12. So now, all the denominators are the same. So you can do the operation 108 subtract 32 plus 3. You will get 79 over 12. 79 over 12 is in proper fashion. You must write your answer in proper fashion or in mixed number. So you need to do division to get the mixed number. 79 divided by 12. 7 divided by 12, 0. 79 divided by 12, you will get 72 and 6 here and then you subtract 9 subtract 2 equal 7 and 0 so you get 7 remainder and you write into the fraction the answer 6 or quotient 6 will become 6 whole number the remainder will become fraction 7 over 12 so, you get the final answer. I hope all of this explanation of the topic will help you to understand the topic addition and subtraction of fraction. See you in the next lesson. Good luck and bye-bye.